After I left William and right before he married Joanne and then after he did marry her, Chrissy became very thin. I mean, she got sick. She'd gone to college at the same place that William and I had met and she got sick. She lost weight and it was William who called me and said, Chrissy looks skinny. And thought that myself for a while. I'd even mentioned it to William, but for William to say it made it suddenly real to me, and he added, and Joanne thinks so too. She was sick. Our child was sick. Chrissy was not talking to me during this time. Um, on Christmas Day, they all three, William and Chrissy and Becca, but not Joanne, came to my apartment to see me, and Becca said with tears in her eyes, I can't stand you. She stood there with her arms tight beside her as though to let me know I should not touch her. And then she said quietly after, Chrissy went into the bathroom, look at her, you're killing my sister. She turned away and then back and said to me, you are killing your daughter. William and I went to a woman who specialized in eating disorders, and she was incredibly depressing to speak to. She said that for someone Chrissy's age, 20, that it was um, that much harder for them to come back. And then as we tried to absorb this, she said, shaking her head, it's very sad <laughs> because she's in pain. Hmm? People don't do this unless they're in pain. I remember that when we left her office, we were not, angry with each other. We were both stunned and we kind of walked around the streets not really knowing where we were going. Um, yeah, I've always a little bit hated that therapist. I thought about this as I sat as still as a stone in a chair in my darkish hotel room and I thought about the fact that Chrissy had been that sick. And I think, in a way, for the first time, I understood. I mean, I understood this fully with no mitigating in my mind, is, is what I'm saying, that it had, it had been my fault. Because I was the one who had walked out on the family. And I'm not invisible, no matter how deeply I feel that I am.